Speaking Task 1 You will be asked a question about a familiar topic. You will then have 15 seconds to prepare your response, and 45 seconds to speak. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? If you want to succeed in business, being outgoing and friendly is very important. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep. Speaking Task 2 You will read a short paragraph and then listen to a conversation between two people. You will have 50 seconds to read the paragraph. After, you will get a question about what you read and heard. You will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. You have 50 seconds to read. Start reading after the beep. Now listen to the conversation between two people. I don't care much for that change regarding the business courses. I actually do. For me, it is important because I want to do a minor in business. I'm really happy with my major in visual arts, but I want to have a minor in business because I think I could really use it in my future career. Would you really think that they needed to gather those courses in one building? I think everything worked fine. Even I had to take two courses, and I wasn't inconvenienced with the way things were done before. I believe you were not inconvenienced. But if you want to have a minor or major in business, then you would be. If you had many courses, it would be a hassle for you to go from one end of the campus to another. Okay, but I know only you as someone who wants to have anything to do with the business. The rest just take those required business courses because they have to. I think you're wrong there. I think that there are many students who would like to add at least a minor in business. People just don't talk about it because it is never presented as an option. That may be so. Also, I'm really glad for the faculty. You think that it will be convenient for them as well? I guess it will be, but I think that they will feel a sense of pride right now. The courses they teach will no longer be something that is required for students. Now they will also be teaching people who want to pursue a degree in their field. What does the female student think about the new college? Prepare your response after the beep.
Start speaking after the beep. Speaking Task 3 You will read a short paragraph about an academic topic then listen to a lecture about it. You will have 50 seconds to read the paragraph. After, you will get a question about what you read and heard. You will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. You have 50 seconds to read. Start reading after the beep. Now listen to the lecture. Our heart is a really important organ. You could say it is the crucial organ for sustaining our life. The function of the heart is to maintain a constant flow of blood throughout the body. We need this constant flow in order for the body to receive oxygen. The heart pumps the oxygenated blood from the lungs into parts of the body that need oxygen. At the same time, it receives deoxygenated blood and metabolic waste products from the body and pumps it further into the lungs to get oxygenated. Another important thing that gets transported by the heart are the hormones. They are basically the information system of the body. So with their movement within our bodies, our organs can function properly. For example, if we feel that we are in danger, the heart will pump adrenaline that is being secreted by our adrenal glands into our system, which will make the body ready for any challenge. Since our cardiovascular system is still a mechanism, it needs to be in balance to avoid any damage. Blood pressure is a measure of that balance. We all require a blood pressure high enough to give our organs the blood and nutrients they need but not so high, our blood vessels get damaged. Just like with other functions mentioned, the heart is important for this. The pace at which the heart works decides the resulting blood pressure. What are the main functions of the heart that the professor talks about? Include points and examples from the lecture. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep.
you will listen to a lecture about an academic topic. After, you will get a question about what you heard. You will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. Now listen to the lecture. Communism and socialism are often used interchangeably to refer to the same economic idea. But these are two different philosophies that have some similarities and some big differences. Communism and socialism came with the rise of the Industrial Revolution, and they criticized the business owners who were becoming wealthy by exploiting their workers. They both saw this situation as unsustainable and in dire need of a change. They both advocated the idea that an individual should contribute based on their own ability. Also, they emphasized the importance of government and collectives. They thought that we needed a more centralized structure that will be a producer of good that are required by the public. And the same would go for investment and planning. According to these two ideologies, the government would be deciding where to invest the resources. The most fundamental difference is that under communism, individuals are provided goods based on their needs. You'd simply be given what the government thinks you need in terms of food, clothing, accommodation, etc. But in socialism, individuals are compensated for based on their individual contribution. So people that work harder or smarter would receive more than those that don't contribute. Another key difference is that Communism doesn't accept the notion of private property. Socialism states that personal property exists. People can have their personal belongings, but all industrial production is owned by the public and managed by the government. What are the similarities and the differences between socialism and communism? Include points and examples from the lecture. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep.